After completing the first two parts of the dental office closing routine, we are ready to do the third step, which is disinfection. First, change into a new pair of gloves. Second, select your disinfectant of choice. Here I have a pre-moistened cavi wipe. Every clinical surface needs to be wiped down. Make sure you carefully disinfect each and every piece of equipment. For the assisting side, make sure you take the equipment out of the holsters and carefully wipe down the hoses. Also take time to wipe the holsters. This first towelette that we're using is cleaning the surfaces. It's removing any bio burden that might be harboring or hiding bacteria. Even if your office uses barriers, you still have to disinfect at the end of the day. Pay careful attention to areas that you may not think of, such as the paddles on the assistant stool and operator stool. Continue this procedure for every item in the operatory. It's important to remember that this first towelette is only cleaning the surface. It's technically not disinfecting. What we have to do after we clean all of these surfaces is to go back with a second pre-moistened towelette and re-wipe the same surfaces. The first towel cleans the surface of bio burden and the second towel disinfects. Once everything has been disinfected, raise the patient chair up into the highest position. This will indicate to other dental team members that the operatory has been cleaned. Any surfaces outside of the operatory that may have been touched during the closing procedures should also be disinfected, such as the master switches on the wall and the handle to the utility closet where the central vacuum is located. Once you've carefully wiped everything down twice, once to clean and once to disinfect, you can then turn off the lights. Your office is now ready for when you come in the next day.